grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ as you watch this video and listen to his words, in Jesus' name we pray Amen. Before we begin please click the subscribe button below, thank you. Genesis chapter 35 Jacob returns to Bethel. Verse 1 Then God said to Jacob, Go up to Bethel and settle there, and build an altar there to God, who appeared to you when you were fleeing from your brother Esau. Verse 2 So Jacob said to his household and to all who were with him, Get rid of the foreign gods you have with you, and purify yourselves and change your clothes. Verse 3 Then come, let us go up to Bethel, where I will build an altar to God, who answered me in the day of my distress and who has been with me wherever I have gone. Verse 4 So they gave Jacob all the foreign gods they had and the rings in their ears, and Jacob buried them under the oak at Shechem. Verse 5 Then they set out, and the terror of God fell on the towns all around them so that no one pursued them. Verse 6 Jacob and all the people with him came to Luz, that is, Bethel, in the land of Canaan. Verse 7 There he built an altar, and he called the place El Bethel, because it was there that God revealed himself to him when he was fleeing from his brother. Verse 8 Now Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, died and was buried under the oak outside Bethel. So it was named Alan Bakuth. Verse 9 After Jacob returned from Paddan Aram, God appeared to him again and blessed him. Verse 10 God said to him, Your name is Jacob, but you will no longer be called Jacob, your name will be Israel. So he named him Israel. Verse 11 And God said to him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and increase in number. A nation and a community of nations will come from you, and kings will be among your descendants. Verse 12 The land I gave to Abraham and Isaac the first also give to you, and I will give this land to your descendants after you. Verse 13 Then God went up from him at the place where he had talked with him. Verse 14 Jacob set up a stone pillar at the place where God had talked with him, and he poured out a drink offering on it, he also poured oil on it. Verse 15 Jacob called the place where God had talked with him Bethel. The deaths of Rachel and Isaac. Verse 16 Then they moved on from Bethel. While they were still some distance from Ephrath, Rachel began to give birth and had great difficulty. Verse 17 And as she was having great difficulty in childbirth, the midwife said to her, Don't despair, for you have another son. Verse 18 As she breathed her last, for she was dying, she named her son Ben-Oni, but his father named him Benjamin. Verse 19 So Rachel died and was buried on the way to Ephrath, that is, Bethlehem. Verse 20 Over her tomb Jacob set up a pillar, and to this day that pillar marks Rachel's tomb. Verse 21 Israel moved on again and pitched his tent beyond Migdal Edar. Verse 22 While Israel was living in that region, Reuben went in and slept with his father's concubine Bilhah, and Israel heard of it. Jacob had twelve sons. Verse 23 The sons of Leah, Reuben the firstborn of Jacob, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar and Zebulun. Verse 24 The sons of Rachel, Joseph and Benjamin. Verse 25 The sons of Rachel's servant Bilhah, Dan and Naphtali. Verse 26 The sons of Leah's servant Zilpah, Gad and Asher. These were the sons of Jacob, who were born to him in Paddan Aram. Verse 27 Jacob came home to his father Isaac in Mamre, near Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac had stayed. Verse 28 Isaac lived a hundred and eighty years. Verse 29 Then he breathed his last and died and was gathered to his people, old and full of years. And his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. Please wait if you have not subscribed to this channel, please click the red subscribe button below. Thank you see you again in chapter 36, God bless you.